working on a 2005 GMC Sierra 2500 with a 6.6 .6 Duramax. Gonna do a quick video on replacing the fuel filter. I'm gonna pop your hood. So with your hood popped over here, the passenger side firewall, you can see that's gonna be our fuel filter there. And uh, it's kinda packed in here, kinda hard to get your hands down in there. It can be done from up above here, but the easiest way is to remove the inner fender well here. So what you wanna do is just go ahead and start removing a bunch of these clips um, just all around here. You got some up there. Just wherever you see a uh, clip or a push pin, go ahead and pull those out. And for like this style, all you gotta do is get under the first part of that round area there with like a trim tool. Pull that out and that whole thing comes out. And then if you haven't removed this before, uh, sometimes there'll be like a Christmas tree style clip in these little holes here, which you'll get up from above. That's just holding some wire looms on. And then you can go ahead and remove this. And so now you can see we got a lot of better access to get this uh, out of here. Just does, it takes a few more minutes is all to take that inner fender well off. And if I zoom in here, you can see our, uh, this is gonna be our water sensor. And you got a little uh, wire harness here. What you do is you'll push down with your thumb right here, and then you'll just pull out. And that just unclips right there. And then I like to just grab a rag, kind of set it down here, in case any fuel comes out when we unscrew this. So now you can use a oil filter wrench, or you can try uh, unscrewing it by hand, and we'll go ahead and uh, remove the filter. So just start twisting that off. Just watch your water sensor there. And then go ahead and pull that down. And then after you pull that, you just wanna make sure that this little rubber O-ring comes out with it. Sometimes that'll stick up on there. So just make sure you pull that off before we get our new one on as well. So then go ahead and uh, dump out all the old fuel out of here. Next, you wanna take you a large pair of channel locks here and we're gonna unscrew this here. Just be careful because this is plastic. So if you get you a nice pair of channel locks here and then just slowly unscrew that. comes out like that and then go ahead and grab a pick or a flathead screwdriver let's go ahead and get this o-ring off of here okay so I just went with the uh, Napa 3960 fuel filter you can see it comes with two new o-rings and then of course the filter uh, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do first is I got a cap here full of uh, fresh motor oil. And I'm just gonna coat this O-ring here with some fresh motor oil. Just kind of like that there. And then we can go ahead and put this on the water sensor here. Like that. And then let's go ahead and uh, screw this into the bottom here. And then go ahead and grab your channel locks and let's go ahead and tighten that up probably about right there you don't want to go too tight but also not too loose next go ahead and uh, grab your big o-ring here same thing I'll coat this in some uh, 
fresh motor oil as well. And then you'll go ahead and take this and this is going to go right on the outside right in here. So just like that. So now we can go ahead and put it in the truck and then also just check on this one as well just to make sure that o-ring is on there and came off with it. So take your new filter and let's go ahead and uh, get this up in there. Again, just make sure this gas gets in place correctly and go ahead and screw that on. You wanted to go just hand tight on these. It's about like that. And then you can go ahead and plug in your sensor here. Just like that. And then since we didn't open up the drain valve or anything, we don't have to do anything with that. So now we can go ahead and start priming it, getting the air out. So this is your prime right here. And then right below that is gonna be your bleeder valve. So you can take a small flathead screwdriver, crack open this bleeder valve. And then uh, let's go ahead and start pumping the prime here until fuel starts coming out of there. And that actually didn't take much. Because what you're doing is you're just filling the filter here. So once fuel starts coming out of there like that, just make sure there's no more air bubbles. And then go ahead and close this up. And then you wanna dry up any of this old fuel here. And so with that primed, let's go ahead and uh, start it up here. We'll let this run and let's go ahead and check for leaks. So just check for leaks, especially around this uh, bleeder valve there, make sure that ain't leaking. That looks good. And then also down below here. So now that we're good and no leaks, we can go ahead and uh, replace our inner fender well here. Get that set back up in here. Okay, so that's going to do it for the video. Again, this was a 2005 GMC Sierra with a 6.6 .6 Duramax diesel, and I went ahead and replaced the fuel filter. Pretty simple job to do, so hopefully this video helps you out. If it does, why don't you subscribe to my channel, check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.